Hello my dear students, welcome back to the lecture. So the next question that you can get and which you should be knowing is where we do the lapping in beams and column. So uh, we'll take only for the beams in this uh, lecture. So where we do the lapping in beams, we have seen what is lapping right. So in the beam it's not that wherever you like you can do. There are certain things we need to understand. So the lapping will be done wherever the bending moment is minimum. Always rem remember this whether it is for beams, column, slab, whatever structural element it may be. You should not do the lapping wherever the bending moment is maximum or you can say the lapping will be done wherever the bending moment is less. Okay, Wherever the bending moment is minimum we try to do the lapping in that particular portion. So for both, for both sagging and for hogging right. So, so by using this concept we do lapping accordingly for the beams. So now when I say beam we have two things right we have a top bar and we have a bottom bar which we have understood. So whenever you do the lapping for a beam in the top bar you should not do the lapping at the support that means if I want to put it in a better way let us say if this is my beam if this is my beam if I want to do the lapping at the top let us say uh, I'll take this beam. Now let us say this is my top bar okay. This is my top bar. So if I want to do the lapping, I should do the lapping of the bar in the, okay I'll, I'll go with this, no lapping at the support. That means you should not do the lapping at this support and also you should not do the lapping at this support. So you, you should not lap it, I'll do it in this way. Yeah, no lapping in this portion okay. And similarly, no lapping in the end portion. Okay, then where you can lap at the top, so you can lap, you can do the lapping at the center portion. Always for the top bar, we can do the lapping at the center portion. In this portion, you can do the lapping. Got it? Now we'll go to the next one. Okay, no lapping at center for the bottom bar. In the same way, we have a bottom bar. Now I'll draw the bottom bar for you. Yeah. So this is my bottom bar. bottom bar has come okay now what is written no lapping at center for bottom bar that means if in the bottom if I want to do the lapping I shouldn't do the lapping in the center portion so this is my center portion so bottom you should not do in the center whereas in the top you can do it for the center that means where you have to do for the bottom bar that means wherever no was there in the top that is yes for your bottom bar that means I can do the lapping in the which portion I can do the lapping at the support at the bottom bar. I can do it at the bottom in the near the support for the beam. You are getting my point? So I feel this is a bit uh, confusing for you but you have understood the concept it's well and good. Quickly we will forget everything. Just remember if you are doing the lapping at the top you should lap at the center okay and if you are doing it for the bottom try to lap your bars at the support that's it very simple. So with this understanding, I'll show you one image. See it here. Now, I'll consider this as my beam. Okay. So where are the support? First, I'll explain here. Then I'll show through a video. So this is one support. I have a column in this portion. This is one column for me. Similarly, I have another column. So these are my two supports. When I say column, they're actually a supporting element. They're going to support. Right. Now, I'll draw the I'll draw the top bar also. Okay. I'll not draw. I'll directly explain it here. Now if I want to do the lapping of a top bar, where I am going to do? I will do the lapping at the top portion, in the middle portion for the top bar. So here I am, where is the middle portion? Oh, exactly, this is middle, no? If this is let us say 10 meter, what is half of that? 5 meter is exactly the center, somewhere close to 4 to 5 meter you can do the lapping for the top bar. Okay, now this is for the top bar, I will lap it here. Now for the bottom where I can do the lapping, for the bottom, I can do the lapping near the support that means so this is my support isn't it I'll do the lapping at this support if I want or I can do it at this support now practically can you see here a lapping has been done I'll take out everything you can see a lot of bar has been lapped here why why at here because this is a support and this is a bottom bar I can do the lapping here got it so wherever there is a requirement we can do it now with this understanding I'll show you one video of a practical video and we'll try to see that yeah now again you see it here this is a top reinforcement and this is your bottom reinforcement okay
Okay, I need to reduce the volume. So you can see practically here the same thing they have done the lapping here okay because this was my bottom bar so near the support this is one support I can do the lapping I cannot do the lapping here okay I for the bottom bar I cannot do the lapping at the center portion I'll do it in this way this is my center portion I cannot do the lapping in the center portion for the bottom bar what is the reason behind that I'll explain you the reason is that very simple what is the bending moment of your typical fixed beam so the typical fixed beam bending moment yeah so we'll be having a negative bending moment then we'll be having a positive bending moment and then we'll be having okay we'll have a negative bending moment then we'll be having a positive bending moment and then again then again negative bending moment right negative negative and positive okay so here the negative bending moment is more here also negative bending moment is more that is at the top portion in the bottom portion in this portion you have positive bending moment okay wherever bending moment is maximum we don't do the lapping there now since here negative bending moment is there, forget about negative I'll use the term bending moment since we have more bending moment here and here the support also we have more bending moment will not lap it here for the top now this is top portion okay so when I draw it something like this it means this is my neutral axis I'll do in this way okay yeah this is good now it is clear yeah okay chal right so uh, this is my uh, neutral axis beyond this this is my top bar beyond this this is my bottom bar okay so here i am not going to lap at the top here also i am not going to lap at the top but in the center portion you don't have any bending moment that means the bending moment is nothing there it's almost close to zero there okay so what we can do for the top bar we can lap it at the center now come to the bottom bar in the bottom bar i'm not going to lap at the center why because you have a positive bending moment that means you have a bending moment here so here the bending moment is maximum that is if it is a uh, yeah it's maximum here but if i come near the support you can see there's no negative there's no bending moment that means he from here the bending moment is taking a a negative bending moment but whereas you don't have any positive bending moment here that means the bending moment is very minimum here the bending moment is minimum here so that is why for the bottom bar near the support this is one support and this is another support we are going to lap got it so this is a concept behind the lapping of a bar in the beam so that is how it looks practically so here you can see this is already done if possible let me show you any of the top bar where the bending has been done where the lapping has been done at the top portion Yeah, you can see it here no see there is a lapping done how the lapping is done they are given that lap length what I mentioned what I explained you that from where to where the lapping has been done you can see from here to here the lapping has been done isn't it you see how the bar has been taken they brought a bar from here okay it got ended here so they have given a crank I mean a bend and then they have taken a bar in this way right can you see that difference here so this is a lapping similarly you can see it here also see in this way they have done the lapping so this is your lap length right I hope up to your concepts are clear but where where they have done it since it's a top bar at the center they have done it right see uh, now you got an idea see exactly so how much will be this uh, length from here to here very simple you should ask me how much it should be so generally if I don't tell you anything you can take 50 times the diameter of the bar you can take this as 50 times the diameter of the bar okay let us say if I am using a 12 diameter 50 into 12 comes out to be 12 5 is a 60 so it is 600 mm 600 mm so this length will be 600 mm for me got it so in this way you are supposed to understand that
got it so i hope up to here your concepts are clear we understood where we have to do the uh, lapping and where we should not do the lapping we'll see you back in the next lecture